Next on First News at 4 o'clock, King County eco-consumer Tom Watson is back with some tips on keeping your summer road trips green. We'll be right back. Summer has finally arrived and many of us will be enjoying a nice road trip here in the Northwest. Well, you can be green while you're out on the road. Did you know that? King County eco-consumer Tom Watson joins us with a carload of tips for us. Let's get ready for the road trip. All right. So... A lot of people like to take their canine companion along on a road trip. I'm sure, sure you do that. Yes. So I'm going to pull out of my back pocket. You said you've seen these. I, have, I do. I actually have one of those. This Very is a, useful. And, and this is an especially durable kind. It's called rough wear. Mm -hmm. So just to, so you can keep it tucked in your purse, your pocket, in the glove compartment. You pull it out and just to demo it. We'll see if it leaks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold it would that, up. Would that be a good size for I'll your hold, dog? Yeah, oh yeah, this is adequate. And it, it does such a good job. Water yeah. or dog food, whatever. And it's, you can just fold it up when you're done using it. And it doesn't take up much space. So I do like that. That's very useful and, if you have a dog. And what's especially green about it, this one is made from recycled plastic. Oh. Like polyester on the outside. Got it. So, and this is another cool item. This is from GSI and it is a collapsible mug. And you can use it at silicone. So it takes the heat real well, doesn't smell, and you can use it for a soup bowl. The, the handle goes down, and you can use it for a big cup of coffee. You stop at the rest stop, you know, mm -hmm. the great Washington State rest stops where they, you can get coffee for the chairs. You can bring, <laughs> it looks like you're holding a mini pot yeah, while, while everyone brings their mug. Well, no, so you can do it that way. Right. If you hold it like this, it's not so bad. <laughs> All right, that's pretty funny. Very cool stuff. Okay. Okay, solar-powered flashlight. Really cool, big solar panel. You can have this charging on your dashboard. Don't so have you to don't worry have about to, batteries. About the batteries Very running useful. out. Very useful, okay. And by far the most, um, the greenest way to have a road trip is with a fuel efficient vehicle. And we're seeing more electric cars, mm -hmm. such as Nissan Leafs and others on city streets. And people think they can't take a road trip in, a, in an electric car. Right, be, you might be, think it's a little risky. But, but look at this. So we, made, we had this graphic done uh, by our great graphics guy, um, Dave Kalstrom. He made this map for us. And look at all the electric vehicle charging stations, I-5 corridor, all along the wow, Washington and Oregon coast. Wow, um, I-90. So those are all free, not free, some, some may be free, low-cost public mm -hmm. electric vehicle charging stations. And the, the range of some um, electric vehicles is 80 or 90 miles, but you can see you're in, you're in good shape all across the Northwest. Wow. So lots of options. Consider an electric car. A few more things. So, so going back to the, uh, the cups, this is kind of a DIY cup. You have a mason jar. A lot of people have leftover oh, mason sport. jars. This is a product called Kapow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just like saying that. And it, it is just a plastic lid that you put on with the existing uh, top of the mason jar and turn your mason um, jar into a, you know, a travel mug. You know, I love mug. this idea. It's like a sippy cup for adults. <laughs> These it's guys really, in Massachusetts really thought of that. Really useful, yeah. okay. And then look Sleeping for, for um, recycled materials. This is a company called Big Agnes in Colorado, makes high-end sleeping bags. And this one has, um, and many of theirs have a lot of recycled content. So you can look for products with, with recycled material. Okay. And let's finish up with the DIY items. So um, you want to have a good um, garbage container in your car. So let's say you have a little kid that has uh, <laughs> messy stuff. Sure, likes to throw things like all children. Okay. <laughs> Not to mention any names. And, and um, you know, the leftover yogurt or something, you get, this is like a, a cereal container that you've repurposed and put a bag in it and then, and then it seals. Reuse a plastic bag. You reuse Perfect. the bag. And then this, lastly, this is a um, water jug or old milk jug. And then it has been strapped with a headlamp, and this box is just to show how it glows. And that will make a lantern to light up your tent at night. Putting the, putting the headlamp around this, this jar of water. You're laughing. Isn't that a clever no, idea, Mary? I didn't even think to use it like that. <laughs> People, everyone who sees this says, I'm going to try this. And, and um, it's just a cool DIY thing. Lots of Reasonable. cool, nifty, green ideas. Tom, thanks so much for stopping by. For more information about these road trip ideas, go to our website, comonews.com, and click on Como4TV. Coming up next, the camera's...